Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Zainard session on round 2 uh, All India Counselling. We have come to the next stage of counselling All India round 2. The round 2s are about to start. There are a few states uh, states which are still uh, yet to complete their round 1s. It is a tricky situation for those candidates. But still uh, MCC doesn't wait for uh, the states to complete and so we are going ahead with round 2. In this uh, session we will quickly look at all India round two choice filling pointers and two important things consent and unlocking these are very very minor things actually uh, once understood consent is not a great relevance at all it is just a, an, a, uh, an, uh, 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 an approval for you to go ahead basically approval from your end uh, to MCC or an acknowledgement saying that you understood the, all the rules kind of and unlocking is basically uh, a simple process only for those who want to change quota and category. So without knowing what unlocking is, don't do it. At least go through the session before doing it. We'll just explain it in detail. Important point is, before even we start, the biggest query has always been, uh, I register, starts with this, when we either through calls or directly, I registered in All India round one. And then I did this. Should I uh, register again? Don't need to register at all. So if you registered in All India round 1 and then beyond that, let us say you did not get allotted. You were allotted and then did not join, which is basically free exit. You allotted, joined and resigned within the timeline, which basically was uh, till 19th 11 am. You allotted, you were, uh, you were allotted and opted for upgradation, joined and opted for upgradation still holding the seat. You were allotted or not allotted, whatever happened, then you finally ended up taking a state seat and you're holding a state round 1 seat. No fresh registration. Once you registered for All India Round 1, it is the same registration. You don't need to register fresh. You will use the same registration. Same registration is applicable. You will log in with the same registration. Don't need to ask any queries. Already registered in All India Round 1, same registration. Now, the only thing is, what those people who will not be able to register All India Round 1 joined candidates, allotted and joined, did not opt for upgradation. Those candidates al alone will not be able to fill choices. They might be able to log in, but cannot fill choices. That is the only set which will not be able to fill choices. Rest all will be able to register with the same registration. This does not matter. Beyond this, there is fresh registration. In case you missed, did not register an All India Round 1, then there is fresh registration. So just be very clear about it. If you have already registered an All India Round 1, it is the same registration, nothing else to be done. Now, we look at what are the other things that you need to remember. Fresh choices for all. Everybody fills fresh choices. There is no difference in the choices that uh, choice uh, listing. Round 1 choices will be null and void. Round 1 choices will not even be there. You will just start with a blank choice list and you will fill fresh choices. Whether you have opted for upgradation, you have not, uh, you have uh, not, uh, been allotted and took free exit, did not join, uh, did, where was not, uh, you were not allotted, joined and resigned. Everybody will fill fresh choices, including those who register fresh. Everybody will fill fresh choices only. If you have put in thousand, had put in thousand choices earlier in round one, all null and void thousand choices have to be listed down again. Right from point one. Third, can I add, you can add any choices. When round one, I did not add any choice. Add a particular choice. It was below my allotted choice. I took free exit. I joined that seat. It was below, above. I did not add. Doesn't matter. It is a pure new choice list. Whatever you want, you can add it in the new choice list in any order that you want. Today, what you think is the order, that is what matters. It doesn't matter what you thought yesterday, what you filled in round one. Can move any choices anywhere? Obviously, I put in, in this order in round one. One, two, three. Can I change three to one, one to two? I can delete this. Everything is possible. Whatever questions are there, everything is possible because it is a new choice list. As long as you understand that you're attending a new registration, you're attending a new the system allotment process in round two, it is like a new counseling, except that some candidates will be holding on to a seat. Consider it that way. Everything starts from the beginning kind of. And around one joint, okay, so these are some queries that have come up. We'll just try to address these queries. Round one joined, I have joined in round one and I am continuing with the seat. Basically, I'm holding a seat. Let us say the seat is MAMC Pediatrics. I'm holding this seat. I have a better choice list, right? I will fill everything. Better choices than MAMC Pediatrics. Whatever is better only, I will fill. System will consider whatever I fill as better choices. And it will process this. If I don't get that, should I fill MAMC Pediatrics at the end? This is a question that many candidates have. You will not be seeing MAMC Pediatrics in this list at all. Where you drag and drop, 
you will not be seeing MAMC pediatrics. You can't fill MAMC pediatrics. So if you are holding on to a seat, what does holding on mean? Round one, allotted and joined, you still continuing. If you are holding on to a seat, choice will not be visible. So if the choice is not visible, you don't need to fill in that choice. Automatically, if you don't get the choices you filled, this will be retained, no need to worry. Even if a candidate above you, you are ranked 10, candidate 1 fills in MAMC pediatrics, even then candidate 1 will not take, get it unless you actually get a better seat from your choices. You upgrade only then it will go to anybody else. If you don't upgrade, 10 choices you have filled in, right? If you don't upgrade, you will not be able to, uh, nobody will be able to get your seat. Your seat is yours once you join the seat. So be, uh, be very clear and confident about it. Don't need to worry about that part and make any changes in the process to accommodate for that. Just fill better choices. So uh, the next part is, uh, I took a free exit in round one. What did I do? I went to round one. I joined the seat. I did not join the seat and I took a free exit. Or uh, even after allotment, I went and joined the seat. Okay. This allotted seat, I resigned. Will I be able to fill that? Yes. That choice will be visible. Will be visible. And you will be able to fill that choice at any position that you want. You can change the position. You can uh, change the order, etc. You will be able to fill that allotted seat of round one in case you did not join it or you joined and resigned you will be able to fill that choice third this is a query which we which has surprised us the most we don't know why but everybody is there are certain candidates who think that they hold a round one seat now holding is i hope i'm holding mamc pediatrics i fill in 10 choices let us say here there is mamc genmed I get MAMC GenMed in round 2. The question that we surprisingly get from candidates is, so now I can choose between R2 seat and R1 seat. No, no, no. MCC doesn't follow that process. It is very clear about that process. Once you choose your R2 seat, this is allotted. Who fill this? You fill this saying that it is better than MAMC pediatrics. Whose decision was it? It was your decision very clearly knowing that this is a better preference. Once your R2 seat is allotted, that second System will release your MAMC pediatrics from you. You will no longer be eligible for this particular seat. This is highly likely to be allotted to another ranker. You are ranked 10, rank 12, 13, 14, somebody will be allotted. Now this MAMC pediatrics will be allotted to somebody else. If you get a better choice, your only option will be this R2 seat. You cannot go back and say that after R2, I don't like this seat. I will go to R1. Somebody else would have been allotted. Let us say no one is allotted MAMC pediatrics. Even then you cannot go back. You have only one seat allotment. This will lie vacant. You can't claim this seat. You will have only MAMC general medicine which you got in round 2. So if you are filling in choices, be very clear that the list of choices that you fill in here, whatever your choice you fill in here in round 2, if you are holding an R1 seat in All India, here, if you are holding an All India R1 seat, your All India R2 seat, Choice filling has to be better than this R1 seat. Only, uh, only if it is better, then if you get a seat, you will not have a choice to make or you will not be worried about it. Basically, this has to be a better seat. That is what you are telling the system. I am holding this R1 seat. These are better choices. Don't expect that after being allotted some seat, you can go back to All India R1. That is either somebody else's or MCC's. Not yours for sure. Once you get a better seat, you made the choice. Very clear. And uh, consent. We are coming to consent. Consent is something that has uh, been there for two years basically after uh, the new process came up. Uh, uh, the time you log in, MCC will come up with the screen. When you log in for All India Round 2 for the first time, even if you don't get this, don't worry. You directly go into the choice filling. Some of you might not have got this. No, no worries at all. This is just a specific uh, acknowledgement uh, or an approval that they are getting from you. Uh, basically to tell them that you have read everything. Uh, uh, you know the rules. Once you are opting for second round, obviously you are opting for second round, no issues at all. Already admitted candidates, those who are holding R1, in case a new seat is allotted, what did we say? MAMC Pediatrics to General Medicine. That is the exact thing that they are saying. If you get a new seat, your earlier seat will not be available with you. If you, who have filled these choices, you fill the choices and told MCC that it is a better seat than my R1 seat. Please allot me that. Once they allot, your R1 seat is not there with you. That is what you are saying. Obviously, everybody who wants to participate will give content, consent. Now, 
consent related queries have come up we'll answer one by one who should give consent anyone interested in round two you want to participate in round two and fill choices you should give consent and then a r1 seat status is not relevant you are uh, i opted for upgradation i did not opt for upgradation that doesn't matter you want to fill choices in round two and participate in round two you give consent fresh choice filling for everyone i gave consent as yes i gave consent as no uh, consent as yes will i have fresh choice filling fresh choice filling has nothing to do with this everybody has fresh choice filling and your choices round one choices round two choices etc are not dependent on this. consent is just an acknowledgement nothing more than that who shouldn't give consent uh, an all india r1 join candidate who did not opt for upgradation i am not willing to upgrade you need not give consent basically should not nay need not give consent if you don't want to upgrade you want to retain your all india round one seat you are not interested in participating all india round 2 at all for whatever reasons you are holding a seat you are not holding a seat don't need to give consent i am not interested or i am holding an r1 seat i want to retain the seat but i, but I already gave consent will it be an issue ah, so and the third thing is joined an r1 seat and wish to retain it basically uh, did not offer upgradation wish to retain both uh, did do not need consent so i gave consent here i did not wish to retain my seat i went ahead gave consent and went in so what do i have i have an r1 seat in hand i am not interested in upgrading i opted for upgradation i gave consent and said yes will it become a problem for you no till the time you fill choices fresh choices or submit your choices or save your list of choices your r1 seat is yours after giving consent just don't fill choices that's it if you don't fill choices r1 seat will still be yours so for retaining the all already r1 seat consent or not doesn't matter even if you give consent to participate just don't fill choices if you want to retain your r1 seat after giving consent can i not fill choices yes you that is up to you you can decide on whether you want to fill choices or not i have been allotted an r1 seat and opted for upgradation i wish to retain my r1 seat don't need to do in anything consent doesn't matter but don't need to do anything just don't fill choices i have been allotted an r1 seat and opted for upgradation i do not wish to retain my r1 seat now i wanted to resign but i missed resignation i have an r1 seat in hand i do not wish to get the seat and i do not wish to participate in all india round on counseling i made a mistake somehow i do not wish to participate is this consent option relevant consent is irrelevant here whether you give consent whether you don't give consent that doesn't matter here what you need to do is don't fill choices wait for results of all india all india r2 you cannot do anything by filling in choices or whatever uh, there is nothing much you can do even if you fill in choices some other seat might be yours etc wait for results of all india round 2 because after now 19th uh, 11 am was a deadline after this deadline you will not be able to resign you will have to wait for results of all india r2 if you have to resign your all india round one seat you can resign within two days with exit with four feature exit without four feature you will not forfeit anything that is a way to resign consent or here choice filling is not required for resignation unlocking registration change in quota so now we'll come to the second part which is unlocking registration most of the candidates have seen this uh, would have uh, uh, been uh, wondering what is unlock etc there are even certain candidates who are mentioning in groups that unlocking has something to do with choice filling no this is not choices locking versus unlocking this unlocking registration is also called reset registration option and this will be available on the left side pane just where you see choice filling option once it opens up after that currently below that there is an unlock registration open option this is only for changing quota or category don't do it for trivial issues like uh, i want to change my internship uh, details i want to try and see if i can change my institute name i want to try and see if i can upload documents i made a mistake etc those are not trivial those are all trivial don't need to worry about those now unlock registration is only for these reasons uh, this is a screen that you will get you will have to pay additional fees etc that will be mentioned and all your choices let us say after today it is available till around uh, 22nd morning 10 am right so it is available till 22nd 10 am so after today till 22nd morning 10 am let us say tomorrow 20th at around 12 noon you are unlocking registration but before that you filled 100 choices that will be uh, will not be available after unlocking registration why is it used we'll come to that first one 
if you wish to change quota what is that for example i registered for aq now i want to add dnb then you will unlock registration and in the options that will say you would have seen that right aq nbms deemed dnb here last time you chose only oh, sorry uh, really sorry aq nbms and deemed last time what did you see uh, the same thing and what did you choose chose uh, you choose uh, you chose aq you did not choose dnb uh, or deemed then you can unlock registration the same screen will appear again and you can check nbe and dnb and add those that is the reason that you need to unlock nothing to do with your choices getting fresh choices etc everybody will be having fresh choices only don't do it this is one reason where you will unlock the second reason is so like for example you have registered for aq plus dnb and aq plus dnb plus deemed you want to add the second reason is to change category so this we haven't mentioned here for example let us say you belong to a category like obc or gen or uh, sorry obc or sc or st but or ews you don't have a certificate now you faced an issue in round one you don't have an ncl certificate etc then you can change to general category using the unlock registration option notes that once you do that you cannot come back especially deemed candidates who are applying for deemed universities if you are between 40 to 50 percentile deemed seats are all general if you unlock and change to general you will become ineligible clear 40 to 50 percentile if you belong to the general category if you change to general category you won't be able to fill deemed choices so don't change but go in and fill only deemed choices if it is required now unlocking is only for two reasons quota change or category change no other reason we know we are aware of uh, no other reason which is uh, where, where unlock registration is pivot, uh, pivotal basically important okay now uh, the last part is who should give i am not agree to unlock so this option this was this is how it is mentioned but uh, basically everybody else who will give continue with the same quota not agree to unlock fresh choice filling nothing to do with this selection iar one seat status is not relevant for unlocking everybody now should i voluntarily go and click on unlock registration that is also a query i'll click on the left pane click on unlock registration here i say i do not agree to unlock registration not required you don't need to voluntarily do anything only if you wish to unlock you click and get the screen and then say agree to unlock how do you unlock the registration you just agree to unlock on the screen click on the left pane agree to unlock registration and then you can pay the amount what is the amount let us say you have paid for aq you are a general category candidate 25000 you want to change to deemed now in this round two you will pay again 2 lakh 5000 basically you would have paid 25000 plus rupees 1000 earlier for aq or dnb now you want to add deemed you will have to pay the, you will pay the complete 2 lakh 5000 again 2 lakh security deposit and 5000 registration fee this 1000 is anyways gone this 25000 will be refunded possibly in in uh, december or january this 2 lakh amount out of this 2 lakhs based on whether you join a reported uh, join a seat in round 2 or you do you are not allotted that will be taken care of later based on your choices later so as of now this 25000 will be re refunded don't need to worry about it this 2 lakhs will be available with you now and based on your options later and decisions later this will be refunded so un uh, while unlocking note that uh, you will have to pay the full amount uh, candidate has helped us with that thanks thanks for that and uh, Will unlocking change my All India Round 1 status? Just because I unlock, will it change uh, my All India Round 1 uh, seat? No, it will not change. Let us say you have got an AAQ seat in All India Round 1 or a DNB seat. You are holding on to that. You unlock, you will still be holding this AAQ or DNB seat. But you will be able to fill all the choices in Round 2. So unlocking will not change your seat. Your seat will still be with you. I didn't see the unlock option when I logged in. Just saw the consent option and consented. What should I do? You did not see the unlock option. Consent option. No, don't voluntarily unlock. We al already said that only if you are willing to change quota or category, uh, I uh, unlock. I unlock by mistake. I made a mistake. I, everybody said that by for filling fresh choices, you have to unlock. I did not look at, uh, I did not wait, but went into a 
uh, 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 I rushed out and unlocked registration. Don't worry about it. Let us say you unlocked by mistake. Nothing is, no problem. Nothing changes. You already selected AAQ DNB, paid 25K. Again, after this, select AAQ DNB, pay the 25K again and get it over with. You will get both the, this 25K anyways will be uh, returned back. Once you unlock and say, I agree to unlock, you will have to re-register. That is a requirement. If you did it by mistake, no impact other than this 25K. Even that you will get back. So don't need to worry about that part. As of now, go ahead with a clear, uh, with a clear mind on round two choice filling. Okay, so this is a final query that some candidates have asked. I unlocked, I don't hold an All India round one seat. I earlier registered for AAQ plus DNB by paying 2 lakhs. I am a little bit worried about the security deposit. Should I unlock and select AAQ plus DNB now because this will be 25,000. Note that even if you unlock, this 2 lakhs will come to you after December or Jan only. That is a point number one. So don't need to unlock for that reason, assuming that you will get 2 lakhs within the next 7 days. Second, you have to anyways pay this 25,000. Now, what happens is, even if you don't unlock this AAQ plus DNB and deemed, you can just fill in the AAQ plus DNB choices. Doesn't matter. You will still be allotted only these. Deemed you can completely ignore. That is an option available. So take that option. Second, when you fill AAQ plus DNB choices, you have you have allotted an AAQ seat and you don't join. The penal the four feature is 25k, the 1,75,000 will be refunded. This is how it has happened over the last year. So just because of this reason, don't pay up another see thinking that. If I take up an AAQ seat, I might lose 2 lakhs. Don't, uh, don't, uh, because there is a confusion with exit with 4 feature for round 2 to round 3 upgradation. Don't go ahead and unlock. Even if you are allotted an AAQ plus DNB seat and you have paid 2 lakhs already for deemed and you don't join a seat and you fall under exit with 4 feature, 25k is what will be forfeited. Rest amount 1,75,000 will be refunded. Only if you opt for a DMD, the deemed seat and then don't join, you will lose your 2 lakhs. Hope this part is very clear. This is for those candidates who are trying to move from this to you know, plus DNB to without DNB using an unlock. Just don't fill DM choices, that is fine. So that is pretty much from this session. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll also come up with another session with detailed one on all India round one rules and how to manage the all India round two rules and beyond how to manage the entire part. Just wait for that. Thank you.